So this is another video of calculation, but this is going to be a rather short video. So in this video, we will talk about dilution. What is actually dilution? A fairly simple explanation for dilution is when you have a concentrated solution. And what do you do? You add in more solvent. This will normally be the solvent. And the solvent that we normally use will be water. So dilution is actually a process where we have a concentrated solution become a diluted solution by adding in solvent. And the solvent that we will normally use will be water. And if we look into the process of dilution, we have a concentrated solution, we add in solvent and we have a diluted solution. What is changes? The volume of solution is changes. Obviously, you can see over here in the diluted solution, the volume of solution increases. But if you look into the number of mole of the solute, the number of mole of solute will remain unchanged. If I have 5 mole of the solute from the beginning, I will have 5 mole of the solute at the end. So the number of mole of the solute remain the same. A very simple example that I can give to you is, if I put in 2 spoons of Milo powder into here, and then I add in more water. So how many spoons of Milo powder we have over here? We will still have 2 spoons of Milo powder. So that is what I mean by same number of mole of solute. After we understand the concept of dilution, let's look into the calculation. So in the process of dilution, we got to know that the number of mole of solute will remain the same. But what is changes? Volume of solution change. And there will be one more thing that change, which is the molarity of the solution. The concentration definitely change because the volume of the solution increases. And we know that the number of mole formula is mv over 1000. And what is the m? What is the v? And what is the 1000 for? The m over here is molarity. The v over here is volume of solution. And the unit of the volume in solution must be in milliliter. The 1000 is to change the volume of solution to liter. And since we say that the number of mole is the same, n is equal. Therefore, we will have mv over 1000 equals to mv over 1000. And we can cancel off the 1000. Therefore, we will have a formula of m1v1 equals to m2v2, where m is the molarity and v is the volume of solution. And in this case, the volume of solution can be in liter or it can be in milliliter. With one condition, the V1 and the V2 must be in the same unit. And that is all about dilution. A very simple formula of M1V1 equals to M2V2. Let's look into a very simple example. So in this example, a student is required to prepare a 250 milliliter of 0 0.03 molar hydrochloric acid from a 0 0.5 molar hydrochloric acid. The question asking for the volume of 0 0.5 molar hydrochloric acid needed for this dilution. First and foremost, we take out the information. You can decide who is the M1, who is the V1, who is the M2, who is the V2. I will normally take the first set as a M1 and V1. So this one will be my M1, V1. And the second set will be the M2, V2. So our M1 over here is 0 0.03 molar hydrochloric acid. My V1, the same set, is 250 milliliter. 
the M2 that we have is 0 0.5 molar. And the V2 is the one we are looking for. And the formula is very simple. M1 V1 equals to M2 V2. So the M1 given 0 0.03. The V1 given 250 milliliter. The M2 given 0 0.50. The V2 is the one that we are looking for. Press your calculator and calculate V2. V2 will be 15 milliliter. And why the unit is milliliter? Because the V1 is in milliliter. Therefore, the V2 calculated will be in milliliter. So dilution is a concept where the number of moles solute is the same. But the volume of solution will change and therefore the concentration of the solution will change and the formula easy easy m1 v1 equals to m2 v2 and that's it for today's video i'll see you again in the next video